my very first drawing class, my professor was a German. I was the only woman in the class. And he said, what are you doing here? Women should be home in the kitchen cooking spinach. Well, <laughs> I stuck it out. I got jobs in the arts ever since. The eyes of her animals are phenomenal. And she really gets inside, inside the animals. Sally draws an individual in with her colors. She leads them in, in areas they never thought they would explore before. When I was about 10, we went to a show and I'd seen the ram heads. I wanted to buy it from her and I had saved up all the money I could. And I told her how much I had and I think it was like $63 or something like that. And the painting, I believe, was $90. And we talked a little more about the painting and she said I had just enough to buy her painting from her. So I walked away pretty happy with her. She's more about community than she is about how well uh, known she is. It seems like there's always a benefit going on for a person that's ill or, or there's been a disaster. She has given a lot of her art to fundraisers. I was at my gallery in Hill City and a little lady kept coming in and I was aware that she kept coming in and she had a pillowcase in her hand and she said I want to tell you that you saved my life. I'd never seen this woman before. She pulled a painting out of the pillowcase and it was one of my bears. And she said, I saw this bear and I couldn't afford the bear. I came in to look and I couldn't afford it. I quit smoking and I saved every penny and put it away until I had enough money to come in here and put down a down payment. And I wanted to know if he would sign the back of it for me. And of course it was signed on the front, but I did. And I wrote her a message. You can't live without art. Art saves lives.